Well, happening early this morning, a semi truck slams into a home, sending one person to the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead is on the scene of that crumpled home in Wyoming County. Anya? Chris, a portion of Hunter Highway is down to one lane after a truck crashed through this home right here behind me. After that truck was removed, the house crumpled in on itself. We spoke to officials on scene. Extremely scary, scary and dangerous. We had, like I said, we had live wires on the utility pole was smashed, um, live utility lines, which prevented us from getting to this side. And we had it was really dangerous to get the person out. Tunkana Community Ambulance Assistant Chief Mike Ronka describes the intense moments on scene after a truck barreled into the side of this home along Hunter Highway in Eaton Township around three this morning. The truck driver was taken to the hospital, and the homeowner was able to walk out unharmed. Homeowner came out on his own. Um, the tractor trailer driver was assisted by members of the fire and EMS that were on scene, um, and he was escorted over to the ambulance and transported to the hospital. Drivers in the area had to take a detour around the crash. They tell Eyewitness News truck traffic is common on Hunter Highway. It's going to be a major inconvenience to a lot of commuters that come to PNG because you got a good 25, 30 minute detour in place now. I mean, I've lived here for seven years, but this specific road is not normally too crazy busy. It's mostly truck drivers over the road, water truckers. Other than that, it's not like this kind of traffic, like cars. First responders are still shocked by this unusual accident. For around here, this is pretty unusual. We don't get this. This is not stuff we see every day. We car accidents, but not not stuff like this. Now, Chris, the truck drivers not have life threatening injuries that we know of, but we do not know what caused this accident at this time. It is under investigation. Live in Eaton Township, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. Quite the images this morning. Thanks, Anya.